All right, it is toy haul time once again. Today I got a bit of Lego, some Hot Wheels, and some Transformers for you guys. Just a mini toy haul. Uh, but first up, today is June the 21st, 2016, out here in Manila. So a belated Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, all the awesome, awesome dads out there. And thanks to everybody who wished me a um, Happy Father's Day. Right, I hope you guys had a great, great weekend. All right, so let's start. Uh, some Hot Wheels. Uh, picked up another one of these regular treasure hunts for the L case for 2016. The Night Burner. And as you can see, there is the Circle Flame logo. And underneath that car, there should be a, uh, a Circle Flame. Oh, there you go. Circle Flame logo right there, which signifies it is a regular treasure hunt or a treasure hunt. Uh, didn't know this was already out. Uh, saw it in a store, a local Toys R Us, a Batman versus Superman. Uh, interesting, interesting set of cars. Uh, you get the, uh, the new Batmobile along with it. Two police cars and two villain cars, which is, uh, oh no, this is Wonder Woman, sorry, and this is Superman, there are no villains. My bad. Uh, so Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and two police cars, that's interesting. Yeah, two chargers, the riveted for Superman and the Ultra Rage for Wonder Woman. All right, and the Gran Turismo has already come out. Um, a toy con, there was a set being sold, but I wasn't interested in three of the cars. I just wanted these five cars. Obviously, the Lamborghinis. Uh, these were the two that I had to get uh, at all costs. I mean, uh, you know, if you've been following me on my Hot Wheels channel, I love my Lamborghinis and uh, more than the Ferraris, so I had to get those. These two, well, I love the car. I have too many Ford GTs already, but I love the matte black on this one for some reason. I don't think I've ever had a Jaguar for the Hot Wheels line like this, so I decided to pick that one up. Uh, the Pagani Huayra didn't really need it. Uh, Aston Martin uh, 177 didn't really need that one, as well as the the Viper, uh, it was a Viper I didn't really need. But this one, this was the hardest one to find, uh, especially here in Manila. This thing is being hoarded. A lot of collectors are getting this for some reason. I don't know if it's a new model. Uh, I thought it was an old model, but apparently the old model was the R34, not the R32. So decided to pick it up anyway. Uh, but most difficult one to find for the Wave. All right, uh, last Father's Day, I decided to shoot myself. Uh, I got these mini figures. I know I'm late, I'm a month late. Uh, these, sh these came out late May here in Manila and uh, restocks just came and I picked up, there's supposed to be 18 of them. I picked up 20, hoping that I could get all 18 plus two extra alien figures. And I just tried to do that, you know, fill up the, um, Use your fingers to feel. I hope I did a good job. You know, I, I did so well with The Simpsons, two waves of The Simpsons. I'm hoping my luck uh, will get carried over to these Disney minifigures. It feel relatively easy to to feel which which figures they are, but we'll see. I, I could be wrong. So we have, you know, the worst case is we get we still get all 18, but not all three aliens. But the best case is we get all 18 and three of the aliens. That would be nice. I will be doing a review of this one, definitely. An, an unboxing or an unpackaging review. Already, I can already feel this has got to be Buzz Lightyear or something like that. No, I right, will see. And because it was Father's Day, there was a Father's Day tree for the particular store that I went to. It's called Rustans. It's a bit of a high-end department store. They, if you buy something like $60 worth of products or more, uh, they give you a... Uh, a free DC Comics Superheroes uh, Batmobile. The Batmobile. These are the just the scale. Mo this is the models that you know you can't really put any figures in them. I think. So this is from the Batman vs Superman uh, Batmobile. So I'm really I've never tried these before. These are uh, the ones that don't fit. Well, just the models that don't fit. The small models that don't fit any mini models. They don't fit the figures in. It. So we'll see. I'll do a review of this one as well. Um, let me know if you want me to review this one already built or do you want me to do a V-build on this one? Um, we'll see. All right. 
Last three things, Transformers. Picked up the Masterpiece Loud Pedal MP25L. This is an exclusive, I think, in Japan. Not sure. Uh, Destron Sonic Sapper Loud Pedal. And it's done in this uh, black finished glossy box with the, uh, it feels like it's a foil stamped design deco, monochrome deco of the character. If you have tons of light, it, it's so hard to get rid of the glare. So I'm trying to use daylight. I'm trying to face it to it's in direct light so you can see it. But as it is, it's it, the camera is not doing it justice. But it's a nice monochrome rendition of, of this figure. And it's very, very nice. So that's loud pedal. The last two items I'm going to pick up is courtesy, again, of my good buddy, Jay. Uh, he's, he's, he's the guy who's responsible for getting me all these uh, KO Transformers, knockoff Transformers that are just unbelievably well done the first thing he got me is a knockoff of the warrior class well people say it's not a knockoff because it's an oversight it's a size bigger but I, I still think it's a knockoff it's like a oversized sort of like a voyager scaled robot in disguise warrior optimus prime uh, with die cast parts and this chest piece is die cast and he's he's voyager in scale here's a car just to let you know how big he is okay and the last thing jay picked up for me out there at chinatown um was another ko this time from the movie this is you know hound was like a voyager class figure uh for the age of extinction line this is a leader class uh knockoff or oversized knockoff with die cast parts and this the Dr. Wu, a KO of the Dr. Wu upgrade. So I could not resist it. Uh, I told Jay, just go get both of them for me. And the amount I paid for both of them uh, just falls under, is not even, it's like $4, $5 less than what you would pay for for a regular Voyager class figure. So that, that's how, you know, I thought it was value for money, but we'll see. Uh, I will be doing reviews of these, so do stay tuned for that. So that's my little toy haul, uh, post Father's Day or Father's Day toy haul. Hope you guys had a great Father's Day weekend, and thanks for watching. Until next time.